धन्यवाद आज म एकजना कोलंबिया आने भाग एकजा सरला भेट आई सकते आई एम हिर एट त्रिपुरेश्वर अस पच्चीस वी विल हेव लर्ट्स अफ गुड कन्वर्सेशन ओवर हियर बिकज ही इज हियर फर एटेन्डिंग यूएन को यूएन नेशन ने मिटिंग अर्गनाइज करेसको वहाँ आने भाग एंड देन आई गट अ चांस टू मेट हिम हियर एट त्रिपुरेश्वर सो आज म यहाँ त्रिपुरेश्वर में वहाँसंग लाइक एग्रिकल्चर रिटेड कुछ कोलंबिया को एग्रिकल्चर कस्त कोलंबिया को एग्री स्टूडेंट के दिस भिडियो विल बी वेरी फ्रुटफुल हाई त Hello everyone. My name is Pablo de la Cruz. I am from Colombia. I am visiting Nepal these days. I've been traveling around Kathmandu, Bazari. I've seen so many things in this country. Uh, also agriculture how agriculture is doing. Okay, what I'm doing here in the park? That's a good question. I'm going to meet uh, to that for a meeting, a uh, UN meeting, United Nations. Uh, the name of this part of the United Nations is the INVES, which is the Intergovernmental Biodiversity and uh, Ecosystem Service Platform. Yeah, and what we are doing is like facing. the new trends for policies in the next 30 years for the countries policies about health energy food water biodiversity and how these elements have to get into a nexus and to implement policies that incorporate sustainability and biodiversity in the way to do So there's a chapter that is called food. The guys who are working on food, they're assessing a good experience around the world when policies have been implemented and have changed in a good way uh, agricultural performances, like more environmental friendly performance for agriculture. So I'm here for the Eat the Beauty at the Hotel Himalaya. You wanna go there and participate in the meetings? You could also do it. I think that is something. You could talk to me, and I let you help people, in the communities and the villages, to know maybe to know about what are the problems, what they have done traditionally in these lands, how they had adapted these lands for agriculture. It's very big mountainous lands that it would look like. not possible to leave and plant there and they have they do it yeah that's for me it's amazing really they are very ancient there as is like it's something that is being done here for many many years and for me something new yeah maybe for you the nepalese is like nothing <laughs> but for me it was wow these people how to know how to ha- how to adapt to the environment now to how to live and produce food in very difficult mountains uh, and that's unbelievable i am a sociologist interested in the environmental field and also i work for ngos and some international organizations like the united nations so 
So I'm interested in agriculture and the environmental link because I'm sure that the way that we do agriculture and we decided to do it is going to determine what is going to happen with humanity for the, for the next years. Uh, the way that we change our way to produce food using uh, pesticides, poisons, maybe it's not the best way to go. I'm more a promoter of agroecology, permaculture, agro uh, regenerative agriculture, whatever you wanted to call it. I think that, that the, the thing that we have to implement in Nepal, in Latin America, in everywhere. Because if we keep putting poison to the food that we eat, uh, we, our health will not be the best to keep it. In Colombia, like in everywhere, there is traditional agriculture that people, rural people make uh, without using pesticides and poisons, but other agriculture is being doing uh, in a large scale using great amounts of fertilizers, using great amounts of fungicides, pesticides, also GMO seeds and these kind of things that uh, are promoted from the government and the big companies like Bayer or what was Monsanto in the past. Uh, they are there, like they are in everywhere, trying to perform agriculture in a way that is more thinking like a business, but not good for the ecology. So we know that, uh, so we should take decisions in how our culture will look like in the next decades. Hey, GMO are very widely used in Colombia. Uh, not really everyone, but uh, almost all the seeds are coming from uh, new companies who uh, make changes in the genes of the seeds to get better harvesting, so to using less water or having more production, things like that. Uh, some of these uses, they could look like they are not bad, they could be good also. But What is the problem that these companies, they sell their seeds to the producers and the producers can't have seeds from these huge seeds because it's illegal, you know what I mean? They have the patents of these seeds and producers lost uh, the capacity to produce their own seeds. That's the problem, that real people stop so it's, uh, sowing traditional uh, seeds and start using another seeds that are more homogenic, they look like the same, because in the market people want to have big oranges, nice color, with no seeds, with nice juice, this kind of market oriented changes are also changing how is agricultural made. And In Colombia, there's no much policies that support producers. Some policies are more, some are subsidies but very low, like that really help much to the producers. There's also a need of roads for the people to take out their production to the cities and sell them. Uh, so many people just uh, plant what they eat in home or they just use very local markets for, for selling. 
uh, some people has to go to the city for a job. Yeah, it's, I think that's the same problem everywhere. That each time agriculture is being using less and less people for working, and people want another things, they want to go to the city, study, have a job, things like that. And the rural areas are being uh, empty by people. Yeah, families are each time less and less bigger. Uh, and yeah, that's a big problem also how agriculture is performed in the country. What else you tell you? Okay, about students. <laughs> students in Colombia usually uh, do agronomics, we call agronomics, what is about agriculture. And they learn much from the old way of doing things, yeah. Uh, these agroecology things are also new in this kind of uh, curriculum stu uh, students. Uh, so they learn more to be like uh, technicians for agriculture, yeah? to know about how is be to have better production, they go to the laboratory, make tests, things like that, which are also great. Uh, but a ship is needed to change the way to see agriculture also to agronomic students. Yeah? Everyone, so it's me, Kamna, and Pablo, and he's from Colombia. And Mati as a one I I have came here to meet him, and then we shared lots of knowledge from Nepal and Colombia. So that's all from our side. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> so bye bye. Okay. See you. <laughs> okay, we had a great conversation. Now we're going to walk out to see more about Kathmandu. See you soon! Like, comment and subscribe!